Hello YouTube, got all the big chunks of gold, ran it through the cleanup sluice. I took it all apart. Here's the Miller table that goes on, which I'll use later for cleaning up the real fine stuff, but that's this just clamps down onto this cleanup sluice to get the bigger chunks out. This this uh, this Miller table sits on these two little buckets here. They're like gallon buckets with a piece of PVC pipe that goes through. And then this will, when you run this, you run it real slow. And the, uh, the fine gold, you have to classify the gold down to whatever size gold you want to get. I'll run probably classify it down to 20 mesh which is 20 holes per one inch but this is a kind of neat little table so what I did after I got done running this and picking out all the bigger chunks from uh, my pay dirt which I got from golden gem grubbins what you do is take it hold it up above your pan got my pan up here hold it up above your pan and then just rinse her down to get all the fine gold and here's what I got mostly just black sand out of this uh, rib grubber matting I kind of panned it out, panned it down, and swirled it, and I didn't see any, not even one little speck of gold, so I don't think there's any gold, any fine gold that was in that pay dirt, just the bigger nuggets. But I'm going to run it through anyway. I'm going to, uh, Maybe put it on this, the Miller table, or I have a blue bowl over here. I'm going to try that out and see how that works. Here's what went through the cleanup sluice. I think this is about quarter inch, classified to quarter inch. It's just river sand. What I'm going to do with this is classify it through the 20 mesh right here. I'll dump it in and then run it through this. And I might even run it through the cleanup sluice again to see if I missed anything. But that's what you want to do is keep classifying it down. This is to get your fine golds, I have the 20 mesh and then I'll go to 30, 30 mesh, 30 holes per inch, and I'll classify it down and again to 100 mesh, even a finer material. classifying the, the sand that went through. I had 10 pounds. There's probably still close to 10 pounds that, in this bucket here. Uh, just put, put your scoop in. Move it around. You can shake it real violently. Fill the bucket up with water and shake it violently. I'm doing it in the garage here so I'm being a little careful. Just Moving it around, I have a hose. Just adding some water. Getting all that down to 20 mesh. Okay. 
kind of see the, the bigger quarter of stuff in there. It's a lot of little pieces of quartz. Found some fool's gold in there too. Some bigger chunks of fool's gold. But that's kind of how you do that. It's kind of a pain in the butt, but you got to do it if you want to get the fine gold out. there's a piece of clay so a lot of times the fine gold will try to get stuck to that clay so I've been kind of smashing it down and getting it through the screen okay I got it classified down you can see the this is the more coarse sand that I'm probably gonna throw out there's no Shouldn't be any gold in there. Then here's the fine gold that I classified. Now I think I'm going to run it through my cleanup sluice one more time. Then I'll be done. I'll clean the cleanup sluice out, clean all the black sand out, and then I'll be done. I'm just going to keep that black sand. There it is. I got about maybe five pounds, uh, maybe a little less than five pounds left to go through, to run through the sluice one more time. Hey YouTube, I got the 20 mesh, and this table's working a lot better now with the 20 mesh. You could probably go with eighth inch and that would work great. And last time I put 10 pounds in, but the, I, I got about 5 pounds in there right now, and it's, it's working great now. Had a little trouble with it clogging up with the quarter inch, but it still worked. It still went through with quarter inch. You wouldn't want any bigger than quarter inch, but see how that's just feeding down there real nice. Let me try to get a light. I also uh, I also got a longer hose so now I don't have to keep filling the bucket. I got two buckets and two pumps. One runs the cleanup sluice and then one runs to the feeder table. I was having to keep filling up the feeder table bucket but now I won't have to because it'll these two buckets have holes down lower so the water can flow in to the buckets without getting much debris inside the bucket. Keeps the, the bucket halfway clean. There it is, it's running great now. No more big chunks of stuff rolling down through. Cleaning up the fine sand. There it is. Thanks, YouTube. I'll come back when we uh, start cleaning up some more. I wanted to show how this finer material's running down through there. I'll get underneath it. This material is a little more damp, so I just barely have this water dripping out of here right now. It's feeding down through perfect.
Here we go. I got some light in there so you can see a little better, maybe. I can probably turn that water up a little bit. It's running pretty slow right now. Turn the water up. Now it's real. Now you can see how it's really flowing. Maybe a little too fast. But that's about right. Just a little bit of water makes a huge difference. Nice stream of sand going through. Okay, there the second round of finishing is through with the 20 mesh. I was in and out of the house. I watched the football game came out periodically. It took it about two hours to go through. Mostly on its own. That's what's nice about this feeder table. But I don't see any gold anywhere. There might be a couple little pieces in, in there. But we'll clean it up and see if there's anything in there.